So we're going to take this opportunity to talk about slabbing out waxes um, because knowing how to cut wax is important. But if um, you're excited about doing wax work and you have ordered a brick of wax, sometimes it's harder to know how to break it down if you don't have access to industrial equipment. So if you don't have access to industrial equipment, we're just talking about basic tools that allow you to break down wax super quick beyond your uh, pokey tool, your file, your big lighter, right? Because you don't really need more than that when you're starting doing the home stuff. Right? You can do that in any cafe, but um, if you're trying to cut these slabs or if you're trying to break down a bunch of this ring wax. Uh, Japanese saw is a great thing to have. Um, Japanese saws only pull and cut stroke. They look like this. Okay. They come in these giant versions. This one's probably maybe 10, 12 inches long. And you want to get a cross cut saw where it's got a, a tooth profile that's smaller and more narrow. This is huge for cutting wax, but uh, small for cutting wood. So a lot of the time when you're doing wax work, uh, you'll find most of your tools can come from the woodworker store. And so this is a smaller version. Uh, I think Stanley makes this for drywall, but um, it also is meant for cutting wood. So anything that's meant for cutting wood will work. And the thing I like about the Japanese saw is, as it only cuts on the pull stroke, you can still break down the edge of your wax, right? So I'm right on that tangency of my moon profile, and I've got a supported block so I'm not sawing straight into the table. But you're going to find that you run into the same problem with many of the bulk uh, stock removal tools in that you may have cut off a bunch of material. Right? And I'm just sliding very gently, so we're at the point just to clarify. You can see our cut line is right there. Uh, you want to get it through almost completely. But when you're doing all that stock removal, it's still going to leave you whatever the perimeters are. So you're still going to have to fight with that and come back with either your carving tool or your filing tool. So there you go. You can see we're very close. A couple more strokes. But when you're breaking down slabs, when you're trying to get rings to the right width, uh, I cannot tell you how much a Japanese saw helps because when you order um, your wax, it comes in this long tube. So imagine this piece, this piece of ring, but, you know, 8 to 10 inches long. And you go, well, my finger won't fit through that. And that just seems like a finger trap. Uh, so you've got to figure out how to break it down. But oftentimes when you're breaking it down, you want a nice flat planer cut. So there's our... Nice flat planer cut. You can see the two pieces went together really well. Right? And then we have to file off these edges. But at this point, we can do that relatively quickly with the needle file. Right? You just shave that down. But when it comes to breaking down your ring wax, you want that nice flat planer cut. You can see, actually, the saw marks of the industrial saw on this ring and then what it comes like out of the extrusion. But you're only going to get two ends on that entire tube that are this clean. So if you're not sure how to break it down, I wanted to prepare you that either the small Japanese saw or the larger one. It doesn't matter. They both work. It's just a question of what you're comfortable with and how much space you have to store those things. Um, once you go with those, uh, you can pretty much break down anything and occasionally uh, you may decide, oh, I don't want to carve that or I don't want to saw that or I don't want to file that. You can slab out chunks that are just kind of getting in your way. But um, I'm going to leave this section as a handle. Uh, it's going to come in uh, necessary later if I ever decide to do any flame polishing and when I'm doing my carving. So uh, it's always good for me at least to leave a handle to the very end and then I will either gently carve it away or cut it off with the jeweler saw or some other tool. But I like having a handle so that I can grab onto the piece without um, damaging all of it.